Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's topic is SDN, Software Defined Networking Architecture. In this video, we will learn what is SDN architecture and how it's work. Let's start with this. First, I'm talk about the traditional network and how devices working in traditional network. Here you can see we have a small network which is consists of switches or router each network device or any other device on a network have their own architecture and this architecture based on control plan or a data plan every device have their own control plan and data plan what is control plan control plan is actually managing and drawing network topology and make decisions about where traffic is sent it's also define the packet flows and managing our routing protocol topologies and based on these topologies it gives the instruction to the control plan how will packet forward to the network we can say it's working like a brain of each device and how data plan works we also called as a forwarding plan follow the control plan actions or instructions and forward packets and frame from one interface to another interface the data plan only following the instruction of control plan and just forwarding the packet or frames one thing more uh, when we talk about traditional network we have to configure every device separately imagine if we have uh, more than 100 devices how difficult to manage its configuration and the network topologies But this is a traditional network okay how sdn works the idea behind on a sdn is to separate the control plan from a data plan and make central plan to manage all the network devices in this way we can easily manage all network devices which is connected with this control plan so we can easily manage all the traffic or also we can say it's like a have a one single brain which is managing all the devices and just forward the instruction how to forward the packet on a networks this was a basic idea of software defined networking let's further when we talk about sdn architecture sdn architecture based on three layers the first layer is application layer which is consist of network applications and network application used to manage and configure the network devices in this environment application pass the instruction how network will work the second layer is a control layer we also call a control plan which is consists of sdn controller this is a brain of uh, this architecture and how these two layers communicate the application layer interact with the sdn controller through api and using these apis network application pass the instruction to the controller how the controller will manage complete network topology and when we talk about sdn controller there are many open source controller available in the market so here is one is open daylight or box we can use any one of in our environment and all these are open source sdn controller and third layer is a infrastructure layer infrastructure consists of network devices we also called a data plan and communication between the controller and the network devices used a centralized protocol normally we use open floor for communication so the sdn forward the instruction through a control protocol to the infrastructure layer devices how packet will forward on a network this is the basic architecture of sdn i hope you learned the basic sdn architecture and if you like this video kindly share with your friends and please subscribe this channel thank you